Your friends Clyde Barrow and Bonnie Parker are getting more famous every day. They just shot a sheriff up Grapevine. Now, you're the only one I know who can recognize those two if they're in a car at night. Did you ever shoot a pistol? No, only rifles. Well, you're going to wind up being the bird dog on these two. So you learn how to use a gun. Can you handle this, Ted? Yes. Daddy's friends, little guy. What happened along the way? Oh, uh, howdy, Ted. You got a letter for me? Uh, no, Miss Barrow. I'm no longer with the post office. I'm, I'm now deputy sheriff. Ted, if he done everything the newspapers say he done, he'd have to be in a thousand places at the same time. And my boy ain't no killer. Miss Barrow, if you see Clyde... I don't see him. Well, if you do, could you tell him I'd like to talk to him, just him and me, a few minutes? Maybe we could save everyone a lot of pain. Did I hear you got a baby now, Ted? Yes, ma'am. Uh, 18 months. Well, I'll have to knit him something then. Thank you, Ted. It's very nice. Ted? If you was to talk to Clyde, what would you tell him? I'd tell him there's still time to save Bonnie. You know, when we used to deliver telegrams together, he'd actually go out into the rain to deliver them. <laughs> I never understood that. Maybe he liked the rain. I don't care if Bonnie likes him or not. He's a deputy sheriff. I don't want him nosing around. I don't need my ass saved by him or anybody else. Hey, hey, how's my big boy? Forget it. What? Just get in the car. Bonnie and I'll never have kids, you know. You don't need them. You got me. We're blessed. <laughs> 